landlords resort to waiving retail rents in China. You're very welcome to Tuesday's Press Review. I'm Elaine Stenson. Retail sales in the first five months of 2013 have slowed down by 2% from a year earlier. That's according to the Beijing-based National Bureau of Statistics. This comes as the IMF in May lowered its forecast for China's growth this year after a slowdown in the first quarter. Now, landlords in Chinese shopping malls have resorted to actually waiving rental fees for big-name brands in order to secure their occupancy. This comes down to a combination of reasons, including the marketing appeal of big-name brands that can attract consumers and because the recent boom in shopping mall construction threatens to push up empty spaces that landlords are desperate to fill. Stores such as Zara and H&M are having their stores fitted out for them, with the landlord footing the bill in a bid to keep them in a particular mall. Better leasing terms were reserved until recently just for luxury brands such as Louis Vuitton and Gucci. Carrie Liu from Xi'an Development said, Competition in China's commercial property market is very fierce, especially at those new malls at non-central locations in second and third tier cities. In recent years, Chinese incomes and consumer spending increased, resulting in developers building more malls and expanding into smaller cities. Sigurd Zielasita, managing director at Cushman and Wakefield Real Estate, said, The problem we see today in China is that there's no real proper planning. There aren't really a number of cities prone to having periods of oversupply. Each rent deal is different, with higher-end brands generally paying less because of the prestige that they bring in. Some rental fees for these brands are based on a percentage of annual sales rather than a fixed amount. In developed markets such as Hong Kong and Singapore, retail vacancy rates are between 6 and 7 percent. But in some Chinese malls, just about half of the stores are occupied. And that's all from me for Tuesday's Press Review. We will be back with more tomorrow, but bye for now.